Hi Sunbeams, it's time for our story and singing. Are you ready? Are you ready Zach? Yes. Brilliant. Let's begin with our prayer. From the top of my head to the tips of my toes, from the lobes of my ears to the end of my nose, from my back to my front to my wiggly fingers, God loves me. Amen. Do you remember what God asked Moses to do? Oh, oh. Oh, do you know, Zach? Tell me. To tell the Pharaoh to tell his to let his people go. That's right. God's people were like prisoners and forced to work very hard for the Pharaoh. And the Pharaoh was very unkind, like a bad king. Let's find out what happened next. Moses went to see Pharaoh and said, God says, let my people go. But Pharaoh said, no. So God sent frogs. There were frogs everywhere. Hopping, jumping frogs in their beds, on their tables, even jumping on their heads. Moses went to see Pharaoh and said, God says, let my people go. But Pharaoh said, no. So God sent flies, zillions of flies buzzing round their dinner, buzzing round their heads, annoying flies buzzing everywhere. Moses went to see Pharaoh and said, God says, let my people go. But Pharaoh said, no. So God sent hailstones, big icy balls, hammering on the rooftops, hammering on their heads. Ouch! And thunder and lightning the worst storm ever. Moses went to see Pharaoh and said, God says, let my people go. But Pharaoh said, no. So God sent spots. Pharaoh and his people all came out in huge sore spots on their arms and on their legs, and on their bodies, and on their faces. Oh, it was awful. Moses went to see Pharaoh and said, God says, let my people go. But Pharaoh said, no. So God sent locusts. That's a kind of big insect. And locusts love eating plants and vegetables and crops. Swarms of chomping locusts were sent and they chomped and ate every plant and vegetable and crop until there was nothing left for the people. Moses went to see Pharaoh and said, God says, let my people go. But Pharaoh said, no. So God sent darkness. There was no more daylight. Can you cover your eyes and make it dark? Just night time all the time. Dark and gloomy night time all day. That doesn't sound very nice, does it? Imagine Zach having no sunshine. It can't have been very nice. Zach, do you think the Pharaoh let God's people go? No. No! God sent more things until eventually one day Moses went to see Pharaoh and said, God says, let my people go. And Pharaoh said, take your people and go. Go! Oh, is that the end? I want to hear more of the story now. It's quite an amazing story, isn't it, Zach? 
We'll hear the next part of it next week. Find out what happens next. I wonder what activities you could do today. There were lots of animals and things in our stories, weren't there? Frogs, locusts, flies, hailstone and thunderstorm. Perhaps you could make some pictures of all of those things or choose one of those things and make a picture. If you have a search online, there's loads of great ideas if you search for plagues of Egypt crafts. Plagues of Egypt crafts. If you search that up. We'd love to see your pictures any time you want to send us a photo. That would be fabulous. Is it time for singing now? It is time for singing now, Zach. You're right. Let's grab my shaker and we'll start with our Moses song. Do you remember it goes to the tune of I'm a Little Teapot? Moses is a helper to a God. With God's help he'll do a lot. Whenever God needs him, hear him shout. Here I am, I will help out. Moses is a helper to our God. With God's help, he'll do a lot. Whenever God needs him, hear him shout. Here I am, I will help out. Brilliant. I thought we'd do five little speckled frogs because there were some frogs in our story. Five little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating their most delicious grubs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were four green speckled frogs. Glug, glug. Four little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating their most delicious grubs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were three green speckled frogs. Glug, glug. Three little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating their most delicious grubs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were two green speckled frogs. Glug, glug. Two little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating their most delicious grubs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there was one green speckled frog. Glug, glug. One little speckled frog sat on a speckled log, eating his most delicious grubs. Yum, yum. He jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were no green speckled frogs. Glug, glug. Right, shall we do O oh, to be a friend of God? Moses was a good friend of God, wasn't he? Oh, to be a friend of God, the best thing you can be. To love and trust God every day, yes, that's the life for me. And when I clap, you can clap. And when I sing, you can sing. To love and trust God every day, yes, that's the life for me. Fabulous. And because there was thunder, and a storm and hailstones in our story, I thought we could sing I Hear Thunder. Are you ready for this one, Zach? Do you like this one? Do you like this one, Zach? Not really. I don't like thunder. Oh, Zach doesn't like thunder. Oh, it's only a little bit of noise in the sky. It's a good song anyway, isn't it? Let's sing. I hear thunder. I hear thunder. Hark, don't you, hark, don't you, pitter-patter raindrops, pitter-patter raindrops, I'm wet through, so are you. I hear thunder, I hear thunder, hark, don't you, hark, don't you, pitter-patter raindrops, pitter-patter raindrops, I'm wet through. So are you. 
Right, what are we singing next? My God is so great, so strong and so mighty. Are you going to join in? Are you going to dance around a bit for this one, Zach? Yeah? There's a few actions. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing that he cannot do. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing that he cannot do. The rivers are his, the mountains are his, the stars are his handiwork too. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing that he cannot do. Now I thought we could have a favourite one round and round the garden so have you got your grown-up to do this with Zach shall I do it to you do you want me to do it to you yeah yeah you're ready hope you're ready for a tickle round and round the garden like a teddy bear one step two step tickle you and there <laughs> oh Zach's laughing should we do it once more are you laughing at home Round and round the garden like a teddy bear. One step, two steps, tickle you under there. Oh, Zach definitely enjoyed that. Did you enjoy that? Let's finish as we always do with He's Got the Whole World. Are we ready? He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole wide world. In his hands he's got the whole world. In his hands he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the mummies and the children. In his hands he's got the daddies and the children. In his hands he's got everybody here. In his hands he's got the whole world in his hands. Brilliant. Take care everybody, stay safe and we, me and Zach, will see you all next week. Let's finish with our prayer and then we'll say bye Zach. God bless you and God bless me. Amen. Are you going to say bye Zach? Bye, bye everybody. See you next week. Bye-bye.